I really benefited from kind of learning how incident response works using like you know the KQL queries and looking through the framework that's built into Azure from this and, and learning how to remediate against that as well as um, you know just deploying virtual machines in general and, and doing basic networking and of course really helped me understand that you know I know I have a lot more to learn but it was a really great basis and I really enjoyed it. Today, I'll be interviewing a gentleman named John Winnick. He went from desktop support to infrastructure project engineer. I think he did a really good job on his career progression. I think a lot of you will get a lot of useful information out of this interview. We're gonna talk about what he did to prepare for the role. That is how he bridged that gap from desktop support to infrastructure project engineer. I'm gonna ask him why he even decided to buy the cybersecurity course. We're gonna talk about his interview preparation process and then just some general advice from him to you, the viewers. On to the interview. So hey everybody, uh, I'm Josh here. I'm a YouTuber and cybersecurity course instructor. And then I have uh, John here who went through the cybersecurity course and did many other things uh, to land himself a position as an infrastructure project engineer. And he agreed to come and talk to us today about his journey. So thank you, thank you so much for joining us. Do you wanna give like a kind of brief introduction of yourself and talk about a little bit of what you're doing um, before you got this job? Yeah. Uh, so my name is John Winnick, and I have been in information technology for about just shy of two years now. Um, I came from a different background, working for the railroad, um, and then I decided to go back to school. So I did the WGU cybersecurity track, got my degree, um, along with all the certifications that come with it, and um, started working at... Um, my current employer, um, doing desktop support there for the last two years and, you know, learning and picking up everything else that I could. And I decided to kind of hyper-focus more on infrastructure um, and networking because that's kind of more what interested me. So I've been kind of slowly working on certifications like CCNA, um, you know, and doing your labs as well in Azure and also learning more about Active Directory with like my own domain controller um, and, you know, child domains and everything else. And that's what led me to this position. Um, and I was actually reached out to by a recruiter um, about it and, you know, applied and, you know, they really liked me and I really liked them and what they had to say. And that's kind of where I'm at now. Oh, that's so cool. Um, did, the, did they reach out on LinkedIn or how did they know how to find you, I guess? Um, I believe the recruiter used Dice because um, I had a profile oh. set up there. So he reached out to me and kind of mm. talked to me. Um, we had like a really long conversation. It was like an hour, um, you know, him just kind of telling me about the company and their culture and kind of how they do things and the kind of people that they're looking for. And that's really what um, kind of sold me to kind of move forward. Um, with that position and, and kind of learning more about it and ultimately what led me to the job was, um, you know, the, the people and their reputation and, um, you know, the excitement of being able to do that job and do something new and really be that Swiss army knife, hmm. so to speak. A company is like a Swiss army knife. <laughs> yes, yeah, Absolutely. Cool. And did, you said you went to school. Did you go to WGU? I know you mentioned you got certs like along the way or something. Yeah. Uh, so I did WGU. I did their cybersecurity track. Um, oh, nice. Got my bachelor's in that. Um, finished that in December of 2022. Um, and then Congrats. also everything that comes with that. And I'm also independently working on CCNA right now. Okay. Oh, you're busy. You're doing a lot of stuff. <laughs> Yeah, but a lot of a lot of things, a lot of different directions. So. Cool, that's good. I think that's good for uh, people to hear because you you did like a lot of stuff, and it sounds like you're pretty proactive in you know your career and everything. So it's it's good you're like hitting all those bases. Well, that's one of the things that really I enjoyed is you know especially coming from an opposite career, it's there's so many things to learn and it never really stops. And I kind of have that natural curiosity, and, I, and that's what really drives me to continue. That's that's really important. Um, so I guess what is your what is your new job title, and do you know like what you'll be kind of doing on a day to day when you start? Yeah. So my new job title will be an infrastructure project engineer. Um, so I'll basically mm -hmm. be working for my company, getting 
um, other companies, equipment and infrastructure upgraded, um, you know, full deployments of things off the ground. I'll also be working remotely on other uh, company systems and, uh, and making sure that their systems are configured correctly. Um, you know, and that could be anything from a cloud deployment to a route switch, um, new wow. servers, um, doing documentation, kind of the works. That's cool. Yeah, that is a Swiss army knife, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and then do you... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. Um, do you, do you, I know you didn't start yet. So like, how do you expect your life to change? Do you anticipate some like extra stress or freedom with some remote work or how are you feeling about all that? Um, I definitely think it's going to be harder, but it's definitely going to be more rewarding. Um, I'm really looking forward to the role and the work that's going to come with it because, um, you know, especially being in a place, uh, doing desktop support, it, it's, it's sometimes hard to get a little bit more exposure to the things that you want. And, you know, that's kind of everything that this job is going to be. And it's, it's going to be a little bit tougher and it's probably going to be a lot, but I'm, I'm looking forward to the challenge and I know it's going to be a great fit. That's cool. That's a good mindset to have. Cause like even I, I have got a lot of positive stuff out of every single one of my jobs. Um, even if the job was like bad in the end, I still like got a lot out of it and it's helped me a lot. So that's like, you know, cool. And, uh, can I ask about, um, the course, like a slight, a bit. Oh, of course. Uh, <laughs> so, actually the course really, cause that was one thing I was kind of lacking is not having a lot of exposure to like cloud technologies and kind of how the deployment system works and, and doing incident response. And your course actually really helped me understand how those pieces fit together and, and how they work. Oh, really? Um, you know, I, I really benefited, um, from kind of learning how incident response works using like, you know, the KQL queries and, um, looking through the framework that's built into Azure from NIST and, and learning mm. how to remediate against that as well as, um, you know, just deploying virtual machines in general and, and doing basic networking. And, um, the course really helped me understand that, um, you know, I know I have a lot more to learn, but it was a really great basis and I really enjoyed it. That's good. I'm glad to hear that. Cause, um, I had it, I feel like a lot of people's problem is like they don't have an intuition for like a lot of stuff. And even if the course is like, doesn't cover everything, it, I hope that it give people kind of an intuition of like how it works and then they can like, uh, build on top of those kind of knowledge if they want yeah. to. I, I felt like, I felt like it really gave me, um, you know, a solid foundation, but of course there's always going to be things maybe that I wasn't sure of, but it kind of gives you the tools you need to do that research on your own and, and make those, uh, but make those connections with the things that you're not quite sure on. Yeah. I'm glad, I'm glad to hear that. Um, that's, that's kind of what I was like hoping I was hoping for. And can, yeah. can, can I ask like what may, like, as I talked to you, I feel like you're like super, um, uh, what's the word you, you're really good at figuring out like what to do on your own. You're working hard. So I'm kind of, I'm pretty honored that you would go with my course. So I'm just wondering like what, what made you like decide to go with the course? Oh, I, I really appreciate that. Um, <laughs> I, your course felt more, um, more all encompassing kind of, cause I, I am interested in the security part of it too. Um, as well as everything that I am doing. Um, and that was something that really kind of stood out to me because your course was broken down in such a way that it was easily digestible. And even working through some of the things I'm doing now, it's, it's really hard to um, always understand every part of something when you're learning it. And I felt like that was one of the definitive things doing your courses. You just made it so easily digestible in the things that were more difficult. And that's one thing I really liked. Oh, well, thanks. I'm really glad to hear that. I was, I was going for that. So thank you. Um, back to, I, I normally would ask about like your application process to the new job, but it just sounds like the, the guy just like your recruiter and maybe it was a girl. Yeah. Like, reach it, out, it's, reach and it's, I, I never, I heard back from a few, but, um, this was the only job, one of the only jobs I didn't apply for where they reached out and then I ended up, you know, getting the job, which is, I just think it's hilarious. Yeah. That's funny. It, 
So it is it is important to make everyone watching this. You should make like all those profiles, like Dice and Indeed and, and stuff in and Monster or whatever, right? You'd recommend that, I'm guessing. Oh, absolutely. I would say uh, expand yourself on every platform you can um, because you really never know where the next lead is going to come from. Um, and, I, and that's one thing that I've I've said before is is make sure that you have yourself portrayed in the best possible light. You know, everywhere you can, make sure your resumes are up to date. Make sure your profiles are filled out to completion. You know, not just on LinkedIn, Dice, um, whatever other tech recruiting websites you're using. So, as far as like the interview process, did you have to go through like a loop of you know five interviews, or how how was that? Um, no, it wasn't. It wasn't that bad. I did a few assessments. I think two or three, um, and then I had. Um, two in-person interviews, um, you know, just kind of touching on the process and, and kind of seeing what they were looking for and then them, you know, seeing how I would be in a fit in that role. And, and us, it was really more of just like a formal conversation. You know, the, the hiring manager uh, was very nice, super easy to talk to, really great guy. Um, and that's, you know, those are the kind of people that I really want to look forward to working for, mm. um, especially having someone who is easy to talk to and approachable. And, and that was really important, especially because this job, there's going to be things I'm not sure of and mm. having someone to like bounce things off of, or, you know, having a team that has that kind of culture um, is really important to me. I agree. Um, and as far as like uh, what you did outside of the course to prepare, to be honest, like you, you speak really well and you don't like, use like a lot of filler words and all that. Is that intentional or did you kind of, uh, did you develop that over time or like, is that just like how you talk? So it actually took me and I'm, I'm still working on it. Uh, mm. It takes me a little bit of time to make sure that I'm not rambling and I really <laughs> haven't been embodying the star method and that kind of helps me to work through questions um, uh, as well as just you know, practicing having conversational conversations about, you know, technical and non-technical things. Um, just being able to um, speak in these scenarios. It's it's definitely a skill that I've really had to work on, and it's not something that ever came natural to me. And because I'm, I'm someone who's not like, you know, the star of the show, so to speak. Hmm. I, underst I understand uh, this. I, yeah, I understand. I'm like, same way. I YouTube like really helped me because it, it forced me to like uh, you know listen to myself all the time, and yeah. I I assume that helped you a lot in your interview also. And you, you said you practiced uh, star um, the star interview method. Did you do that like before going to interview, or is that just something that you kind of like low key have have down or like like how did you, um, how'd you I mean, prepare? I mean, I definitely I definitely didn't practice it. I would say like um, on a schedule religiously, but. I, I just, you know, I stumbled across it, kind of saw how it could be applied to like different situations and how you could kind of intertwine it in your interview. So I kind of always keep that at the back of my mind, you know, if I feel like, because a lot of the times I feel like I can, I can answer the question, but I have a hard time with structuring my response correctly. And that just kind of, I use it more to help keep myself on track. And it's also helped me in like, you know, just various conversations as well. Yeah, I think that'll help people watching a lot because that's something like a lot of people like they don't even think about it. <clears throat> and I, I can tell you, you probably you probably interview like way better than average. And I think, you know, um, you know, it's important, right? Like everything helps. Yeah. And so I think that will that'll help people a lot. Um, so like. Do you have any, this isn't like necessarily related to the course or like anything like that, but do you have any general advice for people who want to either get like the next level job or break into security or anything like that? Any like <clears throat> final advice that you would give them? So I would say stay curious. Um, you know, it's, it's easy for me because I really enjoy what I do and I enjoy learning. Um, so I would, I would say probably try and embody that if you can make sure you know, you're asking the questions if you can't figure something out and it has to be you know, escalated like I've had to do at my job when I can't figure something out. You know, I try and go back and, you know, ask the people, um, you know, who are smarter than me, like, hey, like, why didn't this work? Or, you know, is there something I can do and look at next time? You know, and that's that's something that's really helped me kind of uh, broaden my horizons 
uh, you know, especially working in desktop support. Gotcha. gotcha. <clears throat> Thanks. And I agree uh, with that. And I, I think it's, um, it's easier if you can find something that's like super interesting to you. I feel like it's easier to be like curious and, you know, keep studying that kind of thing. If it's, if it's interesting, otherwise you got to like execute and like practice a bunch of discipline and all that, but which you have to do anyways. Yeah. Um, but it's nice if it's, yeah. if it's an interesting topic. So. Absolutely. And, and that's actually funny. Uh, one of the, one of the videos I did watch of yours from a while ago was the, I forget the name of it, but it was talking about how um, it was like the difference between discipline and motivation. Oh, yeah. That one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I think about that all the time because I'm like, you know, you're not always, you may not always be motivated to do something, but if you set a goal for yourself and you allot that time and, you know, you kind of keep yourself moving in that direction, then you'll eventually end up where you want to be, even when you're moving through topics that are like not maybe as interesting as you want them to be. Even if yeah. you enjoy what you're learning. Mm. Yes, that's very true. Um, but yeah. Uh, thank you so much. I really appreciate the interview. This this for sure going to help a lot of people. So yeah, thanks, thanks again. Big appreciate. Yeah, absolutely. 